Hi everyone, this is Yeti with the Tales by Moya. I'm going to be reading from the Yoruba Legends book by Emma Ogumi. So, um, let me see. I like to tell stories and I want to tell you a story today. Story time! Odurumbi. Story story. Story time. Once upon a long, 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 long time ago, in a certain village, there were no children in the village, and it got the villagers worried. <gasps> what should we do? What can we do? The women, especially, were really worried that they were unable to conceive. So they were greatly distressed. And then they decided amongst themselves, we need to visit the Iroku tree. The Iroku man should have answers to our questions. We gathered together and went into the forest to the magic tree, the Yoroko tree, and implored the spirit of the Yoroko tree to help them. Help us, help us, please. We need children, help us. And the Yoroko man spoke from the tree Hey, what gifts would you bring if I consent to help you all? And then the woman said, We promised the Yoroko man that they were going to bring him yam, fruits. Goats, Abado, Kasava, Ewagari, and the Yoruko man answered and prayed for them. But Olurumbi, the young wife of a woodcarver, promised to bring her first child. The first child. Wow. Wow. And then all their wishes was granted. So in due course, the children came to the village. A lot of children were born, and the most beautiful of them all was born to Olurumbi. So she and her husband so greatly loved their child that they just could not consent to give back to the Yoroko man. <sighs> the other women took their promised gift of sheep, goats, agbado, cassava, agari to the Yoroko man. But Olurumbi took nothing to the tree. Uh -huh. Then one day, as Olurumbi passed through the forest, the Yoroko man seized her and changed her into a small brown bird which sat on the branches of the tree and started to sing. The English translation, one promised a sheep, another promised a goat, another promised fruit, but Olorobi promised a child. This was the song the bird sang. When the woodcover heard the bird song, he realized this could have been my wife singing and tried to find some means to regain his wife. After thinking for so many days, wow, he began to carve a large wooden door like a real child in size and appearance and with a small gold chain around its neck. Covering it with a beautiful native cloth, he laid it at the foot of the tree. The Yoroko man thought that this was Olurumbi's child. Finally, they brought the child to me. <laughs> I don't know why it took them so long. I decided to transform the little bird once more into Olurumbi and snatched up the child into the branches. <gasps> then Olurumbi joyfully returned home and was careful never again, never again, never, 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 never again to stray into the forest. <laughs> I tell you, never again. <laughs> so that's the little